Hi everyone. Um, from today, we will go into lecture four, which is electrochemical techniques. Electrochemical techniques. Which are the techniques used for electrochemistry or electrochemical engineering to help us understand the electrode reaction or an analyte? So for definition, electrochemical technique, or sometimes we call electroanalytical technique, are uh, techniques that study an analyte, which is a species that you are interested in, or a particular half cell reaction, whether it's um, oxidative or reduction, by marrying the potential or current in an electrochemical cell, containing that particular analyte or that particular half cell reaction. There are many categories of um, electroanalytical techniques or electrochemical methods. And here we just give a quick introduction. The first one is called the potentiometry. Potentiometry. Potential is for um, equilibrium voltage. Metry means it's a measurement. It's measure potential which means the potential difference between different electrodes. And most often, when we say potentiometry, we refer to the condition when the current or current density equals zero, which means um, under equilibrium condition, no net electrochemical reaction. The other one is called amperometry. Amper, ampere means current, metry, measurement, measure current, quite often you do that at a fixed potential, amperometry. The third one is colometry. Colometry. Column is a unit for charge. So this is to measure total charge. And you measure charge actually still by measure current. And with respect to time, and you do integration, you get the total charge. And to measure charge for complete reaction or exhaust one active um, electrochemical species. That is colometry. Measure the charge to complete the reaction or exhaust one active species. And uh, voltammetry. Voltammetry, volta is a unit for potential. And measure current, well, controlling potential. So th in this case, you are changing, controlling the potential, and you measure the current. And there are two common um, methods within voltammetry. One is called linear sweep voltammetry or LSV. The other is called cyclic voltammetry or CV. Cyclic voltammetry. You go in circles for the vo voltage or potential. Okay. So these four are very common. And then finally the so-called EIS or electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. It measures impedance, but spectroscopy means you measure impedance at different uh, AC frequency, and then get information, a uh, spectroscopy at different uh, frequency, the impedance value, the absolute value and the phase angle between current and voltage, and that gives us the EIS spectrum, okay? This is a schematic um, diagram that kind of classifies the electrochemical technique. It's not exhaustive, but it provides another angle to view these different types of electroanalytical techniques. For example, the general interfacial electrochemical techniques can be classified by the current density, whether that's current, zero current, Zero current means the example of potentiometry, measure potential with zero current under equilibrium condition, condition you would measure the E value. The, the vast majority, however, belongs to the dynamic technique, which means the current is not zero, the, or the current density is not zero. That's called so-called dynamic techniques. And uh, among all these dynamic techniques, there will be those that control potential or those that control current. 
most of them would be related to control potential, but there are a few that is controlling current. For example, controlled current colometry. You step up the current to a constant value and measure the total charge by the current versus time until one analyte is exhausted. Okay, that is controlled current colometry. Of course, you can also do so-called galvanostatic measurement, which is a control constant current galvanostatic and measure the potential with time. Then that will, uh, will tell us something about uh, the kinetics for the electrode reaction. On the other hand, the most um, measurements are controlled potential measurements. And for co controlled potential, there are also different categories. Some of them are fixed potential, some of them are variable potential or changing potential. For the fixed potential, which means you give a constant uh, voltage or constant potential between the electrodes, and uh, there are different techniques. For example, you can do amperometry, which is to measure the current uh, over time, that is amperometry. On the other hand, you can do colometry, which means for a fixed potential, you measure current versus time until one analyte is exhausted uh, or consumed completely. That gives us controlled potential colometry. You measure current versus time and then until the reaction completes, one analyte is uh, completely exhausted. So that is, uh, reaction, electrochemical reaction stops. These are fixed potential. On the other hand, you can do variable potential. You systematically change the potential. You can, for this, if we are dealing with um, liquid, liquid electrolyte, we can have so-called stirred solution or quiescent, which means uh, unstirred, static solution. The Stirred solution, you can do hydrodynamic voltammetry, which means you constantly stir the solution so there's no mass transfer limitation, and then you can measure the um, voltammetry. It's a variable potential, but you measure the current versus potential. For the quiescent solution or quiet solution without stirring, there are different uh, types. One is, as we mentioned, cyclic voltammetry. It's a quiet solution. You control the potential. You change systematically change the potential going in circles, going up and going down, and going up again, cyclic voltammetry. You measure current versus potential. You can also do pulsed potential, okay, which means you step up the potential for a very short time and uh, go back and step and give it another pulse of potential. You can also do this and the pulse polarography and the voltammetry. These are the measurement. And the third one, it would be linear potential. You linearly change the potential, but not going through cycles. This can give you so-called uh, polarography or uh, stationary electrode voltammetry. Okay, so again, as we mentioned, uh, this classification shown in this schematic is not exhaustive, but it gives us an idea of how different uh, measurements are fit together, whether we are uh, dealing with constant uh, current or non with current or without current, constant potential or variable potential, okay?